Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about a way in which we can create multiple events and check all of them. The method that we used before simply had a single event if statement which if we use this method we would have to write an if statement for every single event we created which in a game with hundreds or thousands of events that would become an extremely large block of code which is completely unnecessary. And what we can do is we can create a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our events.rpy into our Python code and we're going to create a list called events naturally and then we're going to loop through that list with a small w with a while loop and we're going to create 50 just for the purposes of this exercise so while t is less than 50. Now what we want to do is go to our lists, append. Append is a statement that we use when we want to add something to our list. Now at the moment events has nothing in it so for every time around this loop is going to add one so at the end of this loop there will be 51 because it goes from 0 to 50 of whatever we put into it. And we're going to fill the list with events from our event class, which has its own set of parentheses. And they're all going to have default values of 000, empty function, and false, like so. And then we're going to do t plus equals 1. So what we've done is we've created a list of 51 items, which are all got set to 000. And then the flags are set to false so that they don't all go off the instant we run the game. So we come to our main loop, and now we need to change any time we've mentioned event 1. We need to now go to events and change it to event 0. So it's the first item in our list, like so. And that's easy enough. This is all stuff that we covered in previous videos where we talked about lists. Now, I've created a variable here called block to call, and it's just an empty string. And that will become apparent why I've done that in a minute. So now we need to create a new Python block within our game loop. And inside this Python block, we're going to loop through our list of events and check if they are active at this time or not. So what we need to do is use a for loop. Now a for loop is slightly different from a while loop because what a for loop will do is it will go through our list and it will say for Q for every item in events if Q dot date check so what we're saying is for this particular event in the events list we're going to run the date check against the calendar and if it's true we're going to set the variable block to call as the block from that from that event in the list from the block variable that simple now we come out of our Python block and we say call if sorry now we need to check that it's not blank because if it's blank and we try to call it it'll just throw up an error so we say if block to call is not empty then we will call expression it's that term again block to call and it's that simple so we've got instead of having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines of code for hundreds and hundreds of events this will go through this six lines of code will go through every single event in our list and check if that event is happening today or not and if it's not happening it won't call the function and if it is happening it will call it it's that simple so we'll save that and we'll run it and we'll keep our fingers crossed events is not defined that's my fault. I've, where have I done that? Is that in here? Events. Yes, I had too many. I had an S there where I didn't need one. That was silly me. Typo. Here we go. So as you can see, our code hasn't made any visual changes to the game. But when we get to day three at 12 o'clock, as you can see, the event popped up. So the event still worked. So let's create another event. And just to see how easy this is, so we say event. In fact, let's just copy and paste this code. That'll be easier. And we'll create our second item is going to be an event that occurs at, let's just for argument's sake, add 
this one immediately so it happens four hours after the next one and because we're adding four hours it will happen two clicks in a row and it'll still call the same block of code at the moment so we come through to day three that's 12 o'clock that's four o'clock there you go and we can obviously create a, a new block of code so if we copy that one and create this one and we'll call this ev2 like so and we'll change this to say event two's block just to make sure that you you can see that this is definitely working correctly So we come through to day three again, day three at midday. This is event one's block. This is event two's block. And that, ladies and gents, is how we do that. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.